Hey guys, welcome into Krabby's Corner. This is uh, my first video on my new YouTube channel. I'm starting out tonight, and I want to welcome you guys in. Thank you very much for taking your time out to listen to what I got to say here. Uh, if you would, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button down at the very bottom of the video. I know it's my very first one, but hook me up. I'm going to try to give you guys some really good content and share some of my breaks, share some of my... Uh, my orders from eBay. I'm gonna put on here some of the stuff I'm gonna sell on eBay. I'm actually trying to move on probably from football for the most part. I'll keep a few guys, you know, Kentucky guys and just lower end stuff that I want to want to hold on to. But for the most part, I'm probably gonna move away from football for the time being. I just I've kind of lost interest. But we're doing a lot of that stuff. I'm planning on doing some product reviews. Uh, I've noticed that since the hobby's really picked up a lot of steam financially a lot, of, a lot more money seems to be pouring in I think a lot of guys are chasing you know of course we all like to open packs right I, I love opening packs I'm sure all you guys like opening packs and boxes but I've noticed there's also a lot of these repacks and stuff on eBay popping up they seem seems like everybody and their mom is selling you know a Zion Williamson John Morant guaranteed whatever and I'm gonna test some of them out I bought a couple they'll be here in a few days I hope probably by the weekend and uh what my next video i'm planning on opening them up on camera and we'll see what they got it's one of the higher rated ones that i've seen so i actually have a pretty good feeling that there's going to be at least some decent cards in there i know a lot of guys do that and and they give away really good stuff and i've also had the experience when i first started out you know it's real tempting to chase the big hit cards and you want to get something for nothing i mean i was 20 years old or whatever is that, that was that was me I wanted to get something for nothing and I, I trusted these guys and ended up getting I'm you know 81 Don Russ or something you know a whole half a set and not getting the hit I was supposed to get and it was I mean, it was a disaster it, one of it was like a hundred dollar lot too you know you, you thought you're guaranteed to get some big high-end you know guaranteed good stuff and it was trash and the guy acted surprised when I send it sent it back you know but you know, if stuff like that goes on, you know, I think people need to know about it. And this, this stuff wasn't really available back then. This was, you know, 15 years ago or something. So this, this new technology really gives people an opportunity to learn before they jump in. And like I said, this also gives people an opportunity that they're, they know they're probably going to get held accountable. So, you know, they're probably more likely to put better stuff in their lots. And we'll, we'll see. We'll, you know, find out who's legit, find out who's not. And you guys can be the judge of that. I'll just put the video up. I'll throw my opinion out there too, though. Um, I'm also, like I said, I'm going to be selling some of my football. So if you guys are football collectors, don't get too excited because there's not much high end. I sold most of the better cards I had off a long time ago whenever I got married and, you know, started having kids. But, you know, now they're getting a little bit older and I have a little bit of time. I'm out here, I'm a truck driver. So. You know, while I'm out here on the road, I got time to make videos and play with cards. You know, so that's what I'm gonna try to do. This stuff here is really, really lower end. I'm gonna try to get most of this listed tonight in my store. Uh, like I said, really low end. You got select uh, Pettis Silver. Uh, that's actually a little better. Okay, you got the Gridiron King Silver. Of JJ Watt I know eventually guys I'm gonna get a better camera and and some better stuff this is just you know bare minimum oh sorry guys you got the multicolor refractor there Leonard Fournette rated rookie out of optic you got the Noah Brown same thing out of optic we got a DD Westbrook silver Corey Davis silver Marshawn Lattimore, silver. Malik Hooker, uh, silver. A Cream Hunt, the rookies, silver out of optic. A Jamie Collins, red, out of optic, and that one's number two ninety nine. Matthew Days, that one's the orange. Oh, there we go, numbered out of one ninety nine. Got a Landon Collins green. 
in the Ardarius Stewart light blue out of 199 and we'll throw a few more in there too we got the Ronald Darby green cracked ice that one is numbered out of 75 and a Robert Kim Dietschy. That one's numbered out of 75. Those are probably the only ones I'll get up tonight. Uh, I may get to a few more before I go to bed. Um, I got a few auctions I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on getting ready for Sunday night too. Uh, I got a few ending tonight, but I'm sure it's, that'll be over with by the time you guys see this video. But I'm looking to get that eBay store back going pretty good. Like I said, football be mostly what's in there right now. I got a few basketball up at the moment. And there's some stuff that's ending on Sunday night, too, so you guys might get to see that, you know, if you catch this video early. But I'm also going to do one of, one of my segments uh, I'm going to try to make some videos of. You know, I've, I've thought about some of the bad experiences I've had. I kind of shared one earlier there, but, you know, some of the dumb mistakes that I've made in the hobby. And uh, one of the biggest ones... That I can think of, you know, just this is the kind of laugh at me moment here. Of, I, I bought one, the first case of cards I bought was Gridiron Kings. I think it was 05. I believe that was the first year they came out with it, but I'm not, I'm not 100 percent sure. They may have had it a year before that, but it was this really nice silver foil base card. Just they were, they were actually really nice. It was a pretty good value, I thought. I got a, a decent case. I remember I got the the best hit that I thought then was a Byron Leftwich uh, out of five, and I know auto, and I know that's that's pretty funny. That's the best hit that I can remember out of the case. But back then he was, you know, he was decent. You know, he was a little prospect back then, you know. And I got all excited, you know, opened this opened this brand new case up, and I went through and I, I put up these little stickers, you know, you get at Walmart, and I was writing on, you know, I stuck them to the card, and I was writing, you know, how much I wanted to sell them for at a card show or. You know, putting the serial number on there if I was going to list it on eBay so you could see, you know, what it was serial numbered on the front. I'd seen some other guys do that. And I did that to pretty well every every good hit that you could get out of, you know, I got out of that case. And I didn't pull them out of the penny sleeves after I did this. You know, I remember I stuck the sticker on the card first and then wrote, you know, all this on there. And I took it, took the a couple of the better hits, the Byron Left, which was the best one. I took it to my local card shop down in Mississippi. And I showed the guy, you know, and he was interested. He wanted to buy it off of me, you know. And uh, we, we struck a deal and everything. And he, he pulled it out of the sleeve. He's like, oh, Charles, I, I can't buy this, man. And I was, I was shocked. Like, Why? What was wrong? And he showed me. And when I wrote, I wrote the numbers on there, it indented in the cards. I ended up having to give a bunch of people. I sold a bunch of them on eBay already. I had to give people their money back. And, it, man, it was a mess. And that was just one of my biggest screw-ups to share with you guys. If you, when you buy new cards, it may seem obvious to you. It wasn't to me, you know, back in my infancy. Uh, don't write the numbers on the stickers that are stuck to the front of the cards. You know, learn from my mistake. All right. There you go. You guys can laugh at me and make fun of me a little bit for my little big screw-up. And uh, there's going to be some more like that. Uh, I'll do some little short videos. You guys can laugh at me. I screwed up plenty, and uh, a lot of it's gonna be stuff I bought and and sold that, man, I, I wish I hadn't, you know. And uh, stuff I should have known better than to sell for what I did. But like I said we'll we'll make a few videos of that. Make that a little segment. Maybe you guys can share some stories. You know, we, someday we'll do a live stream or something if we get enough traction going. Uh, to help get some traction going, I also want to give something to you guys. You know, especially the first few people that, that pick up on this and decide to hit that subscribe button and come back and watch my videos that I put out, I want to offer you guys a little bit of an extra gift, okay? It's not much. It's not much. And uh, I know football is what I'm doing right now. So, actually, you know what? We'll do two. I'm going to get another card. It's hitting a big card, so don't get excited. Don't get excited at all. All right. So... I'm going to do two two random drawings. Uh, the first 100 subscribers. Once I hit 100 subscribers, I'm going to random your names. And the top two, the names, two names on top, you guys are going to win. The, you know, number one, and I'll give you the option, number one, if you would rather have the football. But I think this is a little bit better card. 
it's uh, Shea Gildas Alexander. I know my camera sucks. You can't see the color good, but it's the pink cracked ice from Walmart. I pulled it out of a pack of last year. It's his rookie. I know it doesn't say rookie on there, but it was a misprint on these. They just left the rookie card symbol off of them. And the other one I'll give out is going to be this one. It's a uh, flawless D.D. Westbrook. So it's not a it's not a big name guy. You know, he I mean, he could blow up. He's still young. He could do something there in Jacksonville. But that's the the collegiate flawless, real nice patch, numbered out of 15 on card auto, real nice card. Like I said, when I get to 100 subscribers, I'm gonna give those away. Uh, just as a small thank you, a small token of my appreciation for you guys giving me a, sh a chance and following my channel. I don't know how much contact, uh, excuse me, I don't know how much content I'm gonna be able to put out. Uh, like I said, I'm a truck driver. You know, I'm in the truck six days a week. Of uh, you know, probably about three nights a week. I'll be I stay on the road usually, so those will be the nights I'll be able to record videos, get stuff listed on eBay, do some shopping, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, I'll try to get at least one video out a week, maybe two. You know, beginning. I got to learn how to edit. You guys are going to make fun of me, I'm sure. Please, if you feel like it, hey, fill up the comments, man. Tell me how bad I suck. You know, all that good stuff. I'll, I'll play along, man. We'll have fun. Like I, like I said, guys, please hit the subscribe and the like button. And please come back again. Hit the bell. So, you know, maybe later this weekend or early next week when I put another video out, you guys will know. And you can say you've listened to both my videos, man. And maybe you can listen to all of them. Like I said, thank you guys very much if you stuck with me this long. And please come back again.